sort of idle thoughts, but things that have touched on some of the several of the things that have been said today. Bob is right. As living at John Knox Village, as all of you, we don't own our unit, we get fed there, etc., etc. But we are stakeholders. And that's a term that is not a new term. It's probably 30, 40 years old. And we have no authority, but we have a significant interest in our CCRC. And that is something, that's a concept that maybe we all have to understand that we do have a right. We do have a significant interest in our CCRC. Even though we don't have, quote, an investment, we don't have ownership, we're not shareholders and that type of thing, but we are stakeholders. One thing about Florida, which is probably true in your states too, we have 67 counties in Florida. There are only 20 that have CCRCs. So the 47 counties, the politicians, you could think, say, well, they don't really care, they don't vote, they don't vote for me, so I don't care. One of the things FLICRA does, and I'm sure your state association needs to do, is make sure that, in our case, the other 47 legislators know that we do vote, we are active people, we are concerned seniors, and just because we're seniors doesn't know that we don't talk to other people. And that's, that is important. At one point, I don't remember the issue, uh, it was an issue, and uh, FLICRA got people to send emails, and the, the issue was decided in our favor, and one of the people in Tallahassee called our state office and said, okay, okay, we got the message, we don't get any other emails, tell your people to stop sending them. So they, even the non, uh, the 47 counties were getting emails. And so we, we can be effective. It does require we taking an interest and being involved. Uh, one thing that has been touched on the last couple of days, we've, been, we've worked well with our Florida leading age. Uh, I guess in 2010 and 2012, uh, and again this year, uh, but there were two task forces that I served on, three FICA residents, three leading age residents, and someone from the Office of Insurance Regulation. And the bottom line is, in Florida, the legislatures know if the three of us get together, we're the, we're the only ones who care about the CCRCs, the providers, the residents, the Office of Insurance, if we can agree on something, they'll basically pass it. The two laws we got passed were revenue neutral, so they were sort of happy to pass them. And we did not agree on everything. On one of the task forces, there were two or three things which happens I was chair. A couple people said, oh, we can't discuss that. And I said, let's talk about it. We can agree that we're not going to try to force them on either one because we, there were a couple we knew the residents would not accept, and there were a couple things we wanted, we knew the providers would not accept, but we talked about them. And I think that was a tremendous help in our working with leading age. I mean, they represent the providers, but they're not the enemy. And the, the last thing, just, just a point, an accounting point, and it was interesting. I, this morning he used the word not-for-profit. That. I'm older than he is, but he's been in accounting for 38 years. We are not not-for-profits. We do need to have revenues exceed expenses, and the current term is more non-profit. And most of the, a lot of accounts today will talk about non-profits because we do need to have an excess of revenues because they're running a business, and that's been mentioned, and I think sometimes residents forget that. John Knox Village is about a 35 to 40 million dollar a year operation. We've got about 900 residents. We've got about 450, no, excuse me, we've got 600 employees, about 450 full-time equivalents. Well, the president is running a big operation, a big business. And as I sometimes point out to some residents, you can't please all the people all the time. 
but we, we do, I think we do need to be sensitive that our managements are running a significant operation that affects us, that we are stakeholders, we have a right to ask questions, we have a right to get answers.